Hello and welcome back to SIG Mechanics. My name is Edmund and in this video I wanted to clarify a very commonly asked question that I see on many forums which is why does my slide have so much play or moves when I'm dry firing my pistol? So I wanted to not just give you an answer. I think a lot of people have um, have answered the question in the past, but I wanted to also give everyone a very clear and definitive demonstration as to what's going on in the mechanics of the pistol that causes that play. So before I get into the visual demonstration, just a quick disclaimer that I am not a gunsmith and I am not a uh, certified armor. And if anybody has questions that go beyond the scope of this video, then talk to a professional. Uh, I've already cleared the firearm and let's get into it. So as people pull the trigger, they complain that they that slide will have movement. And uh, they are worried that maybe there's a, a problem with the firearm or they, they got a faulty firearm. Uh, and that is actually not the case. This is actually normal operation for a striker fired pistol. And we're going to get into the mechanics as to why that happens. And hopefully that helps people um, clear up a couple things and be a little bit more comfortable uh, when they're dry firing. And we'll also get into uh, a, a method to stop this play while they're dry firing. So let's get into the inside of the pistol. So in removing the slide's rear cap, we expose the striker. And for the purposes of this video, I've actually removed the spring and the spring cups from the striker. And I want you to note that hook that's on the back of the striker. Now this is critical to that movement because as we'll see in a second, this interacts with the sear causing that up and down motion. Now, <clears throat> before I put the striker back in, I'm going to close that slide and I'm going to zoom you in. And I want you to see the sear. Now here's the sear and I'm going to just pull the trigger here. So you can see that sear going down in the firing motion. And the sear has that ledge right here. Now we'll see when I put the striker back in that the hook of the striker interacts on the ledge of the sear. So normally there would be the spring on the striker and there would be a, a tensioned force pulling that striker forward, something like uh, four pounds or so. And uh, the sear ledge would be preventing the striker uh, from releasing that tensioned energy, um, causing the, the striker to bite down and grip onto the sear uh, until the safety lever deactivates, the striker safety uh, goes off and the gun fires, right? So let's see that movement here. So you see you're pulling the trigger and you can see that as the sear goes down, the striker is biting into it and causing movement. Now, obviously, once all the springs are in there, everything is nice and tight. So it's the whole slide that ends up moving when you pull that trigger. So to further drive my point home, I have here my striker. And again, it doesn't have the spring or the spring cups holding the spring in place. And I'm going to remove the striker housing. Now, I also have here with me uh, a spare sear. And the interaction between the two parts in the firearm are as such. The uh, striker hook is sitting on the ledge of the sear. And there's a tension from the springs associated with the, uh, the striker. And those springs are trying to force the striker forward. Uh, and until a user pulls the trigger and releases this, uh, the striker, there is a, uh, a lot of force, uh, opposite forces uh, between the two uh, components. 
And that there, that bite, is when the sear moves down, that bite until the release, that is the movement that you see in the slide as you pull your trigger. So naturally, the uh, question everybody wants to know is, is there a way to stop the play from happening or prevent it in any sort of way? And the answer is yes. Uh, I'm going to zoom you in and we're just going to do a demonstration here. This is the pistol showing all that play. And when you insert a magazine, magically, that play goes away. And the, uh, the secret here, which is no big secret if you're just taking a look at the mechanics of the pistol, is this slide release. So if I remove the magazine and I reinsert the magazine, just watch the slide release there. It moves up causing pressure between the two uh, components, the grip and the slide, and stops that play. Um, some people might think it's because the magazine uh, touches the bottom of the slide um, or it, you know, compresses some other sort of component within the FCU, and that's really not the case. Um, there are actually no other uh, moving components within the, uh, the, the the grip module, the FCU, the slide, that uh, interact in such a way that it would cause to add or remove any movement. So it's actually a, a pretty simple explanation um, and simple solution uh, for those of us who uh, had that question in mind. Well, thanks for uh, watching the video. I hope you uh, learned something new or something useful. Uh, at the very least, I hope that um, people are able to watch this uh, and get comfortable with their firearms so that they can enjoy it that much more. Um, I am working on a couple of other videos right now. Um, today I was at the range testing um, a theory I have and it turned out pretty good. So I think I'll be making a video on a modification uh, soon. Um, I also have been uh, reading the comments from my previous video and uh, I think I will address uh, a question there with, uh, with a video. Um, yeah, if you guys um, like the stuff, then obviously subscribe, comment, whatever it is that, uh, that you can do on YouTube. I'm, I'm learning how to use it right now uh, for the first time. Uh, so uh, if you give me some feedback, obviously I can uh, kind of gear things towards uh, you. So, um, yeah, thank you again so much for, for sticking with me here, and I uh, hope to see you guys again.